Chess and Magic. If the White Queen seeks the throne, the king must empower her. May the amulet laid in the center of the sign open the doorway to space. That is the key to the royal gambit. Translator's note. This Gaelic poem might have helped Crowley to defeat Tartakover, the man who fed the devil in the box with gold. Dear Mr. Jack, sorry, stop. We have no more red balls for the tree, stop. Hope you got the case of champagne. Again, sorry, stop. Hector Coward, Xmas Acme Limited. A Master for the three master flying Dutchman. Son of a baron and born of a chambermaid, Frederick de Witt was brought up strictly. At the death of his tutor, he was free to study the alchemistic art. Clever with his fingers, he spent much time at the gaming table, ruining Redmond Barry at the game of piquet. An adventure with the Countess of O forced him to join the Navy. <laughs> he soon deserted his ship. His skill with cards gained him a reputation in Barbados where he met One-Eyed Jack. Their one and only game resulted in the massacre of Terra Nova. A friendship was born. DeWitt served Jack as both spy and poisoner, and served well. The Princess Isabelita Negroni called him the brightest star of my nights. Joined in 1715 as pharmacist. Mr. I may have another name. Who knows? Born at New Amgar and transported to Haiti, his life was chaos until he met Elizabeth Jarrett. Initiated into voodoo, he became the Hunsi for the new priestess after losing his senses for fourteen days and nights. His remarkable eyesight earned him the post of lookout following the attack of 25 December. Accompanied by his mates, the Look Boys, he likes to dance for the crew on calm days. In fighting... His way with a harpoon is fearful to behold. The pillage of San Cristobal and the sacking of the governor's palace were examples of his thirst for killing. 
Who can have forgotten how he harpooned the rector, Joaro de la Cruz, from thirty feet? Joined as lookout on 25 December, 1724. Ask me to name a man among men, and I'll say Black Hat. A bright lad, Alistair Fane began his life of crime at the age of eight. To free his father, he placed a toy bear stuffed with dynamite at the gates of Killarney Jail. Nine men died. Soft-hearted to a fault, he kept Captain Dixon's black hat and stitched blades into its rim. He then stowed away and ended up in Trinidad, where he took an interest in firearms and became an expert man-hunter. One-Eyed Jack was sure to learn of such a man. Black Hat, Marksman. Bubble Blade is the youngest of a family of armorers of Toledo. Trained from birth to handle a sword, he became a duelist of note. At the Prado, he gutted the young viceroy. His famous escape from Santa Sangre is still spoken of in awe. One-Eyed Jack recruited him in Mexico, persuading him to say farewell to his six magnificent companions in arms. Tales of his famous secret stroke, the Royal Pardon, soon spread far and wide. His two-hour fight with Lieutenant Briggs will go down in the history of freebooting. Bubble Blade, Second Lieutenant. <laughs>